Today, we're going to talk about the parts of a function. And if you're new to coding, you may think that um, this isn't important or this is uh, too specific or you don't have enough time to learn these things. But when you start working professionally, you'll need you'll need um, this this terminology to describe things to people. And the other part of this is that we should always be looking to deepen our understanding of JavaScript. It's not enough to just know how to use Bootstrap or jQuery or React or whatever framework we're using. At the end of the day, they all use um, classic JavaScript things like functions, classes, objects, and things of that nature. So let's talk about something that's super simple and this is not my content. I'm on a website called fireship.io and we'll talk more about that at the end of the video um, and we'll kind of point you in the right direction of where you can learn more. So you can think of a function basically in three parts. Um, there's the name of the function, as you can see, uh, everything inside of the parentheses, they're called parameters when we're creating the function because there aren't actual values yet, right? These, are, these could be named anything. These could be X and Y, it could be pizza and cheese. You can name a parameter anything that you want. And then inside of the curly braces, so everything that's in between these curly braces is actually called the function body. And these are the basics that you should keep in mind because these will save you from making syntax errors, for example. You know, um, a lot of the time we, we forget to close the the curly brace um, at the bottom of a function, or we have other things inside of the function body that have their own parentheses or curly braces, and we get lost. But you have to remember, you know, everything inside of the curly braces belongs to this function. So uh, in, in some other video, maybe we'll talk more about scope and how you can understand, you know, global scope versus local scope. But for this video, we're keeping it super basic. And uh, this is pretty much what you need to know to, to use a function. And you'll see this in, in different ways um, throughout your work and your studies. So for example, if you were to, if you were to go to React's documentation, you know, and we're getting started, and you're just saying, I, I just wanna learn more. Basically, what you'll see is that we're still using functions and it's very important to know the parts of a function. And I, I forget where their, their examples are, but this dot render is actually a function. And believe it or not, we're actually, you know, this actually has real parameters somewhere in the source code. And these are the arguments that we're passing in. And to make this make more sense, you know, the same function that we saw above, now let's use it. And when we actually pass values in, instead of parameters, now they become arguments. So we're passing arguments into this function. And if you are confused, or if you feel like this explanation was too brief, I would really recommend um, checking out this course from Fireship. So you can either check out the JavaScript survival guide, or you can check out that weird JavaScript course. And Fireship did a really, really good job of basically introducing you to a lot of basic concepts in JavaScript. And things are actually still being added to this. So this is a great resource if you just wanna learn more about JavaScript um, very quickly. Maybe you don't have time to read a book. Maybe you're not into reading, um, but these are things that you can refer back to over time, and you always want to do that. You always want to know, where can I go if I forget you know, how a function works at a basic level, or if I want to learn more about how a function works. You want to, you want to always keep in mind um, these different places that have these types of resources. So that will be all for this video. I really recommend that you check out that weird JavaScript course from top to bottom, um, wherever you are in your development journey. Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty eye opening. And if you have any questions or any resources you would like to share with other people, feel free to share them so that we can all get a deeper understanding of JavaScript. Now, if uh, none of that made sense, that's OK. Um, some things won't make sense, but eventually they will. Never forget that. <laughs>